Lord is good. And all the times. As we move toward the weekend today, we are told to be people who love God with all the heart, with all the mind, with all the soul, with all the strength, with all the spirit. That is why God created us. In your catechism, you learn that God created you because that you should know him, love him, serve him, and be happy with him eternally in heaven. And these are some of the foundations of that. Today in the first reading, we continue with the story of the book of Tobit. And the story of the book of Tobit is a very domestic story. It's a story of the family. Many things that families undergo are enumerated in the book of Tobit. Many families struggle with various issues. And in the family of Tobit, there were struggles with sicknesses, struggles with demonic possessions. Tobit himself was blind, and a daughter of Raguel, Sarah, was also having a demonic attack and possession. This morning, we see how God answers the prayers of Sarah, daughter of Raguel. Raguel is a little woman who lived there. Raguel means a bow-legged person, you know, for those who are lowers. So this daughter had a demonic possession, and the demon which was following her was called Asmodeus, and it is said to be the worst of demons. Sarah prayed so much, cried so much, facing the window, blessing God, because she trusted in God. This morning, God, when he answered the prayers, he sent his angel Raphael, and Raphael appeared in the house of Tobit with a familiar name called Azarius, and they started the journey towards this place called Ekbatana in Media, and reaching there, they went to the home, the house of Raguel. Before they were there, on their way to, the, to Media, the story goes that there was a dog following Tobias and Raphael, and somehow they were leading, and Raphael was, fo was following behind. And they reached a river, and in that river, Tobias tried to wash the feet. And a big fish came out of the river and tried to swallow the foot of Tobias. And Tobias cried, what? Azarius, fish is eating me. Say, no, hold that fish, hold that fish. Don't let it go. Then Tobias mastered some energy, pulled out the big fish. And then Azarius told him, Raphael by name, that you open the, wound, the, the stomach and get out the heart, the liver, and the gall, and the other things you can throw away. So he did that, and he prepared it so well, some meat, some flesh of the fish he made for himself, for salting it for the journey, and the rest he dried. And then Raphael told him, this gall, this liver, this heart of the fish is very curative. And he asked him, what are they curing? And Raphael told him, for the liver, for the gall, it cures eyes that are blind. If your eyes are bad, you just put it there, and it removes everything. And for the heart and the liver, it cures demonic possessions. So these were materials for the mission ahead, the mission of bringing back the sight of, Tobia, of Tobit, and the mission of driving out the demon as Modius from Sarah. And so they went there, they had these gadgets, they went to that village, and Raphael tells Tobias that tonight we have to spend at, at Raguel's place. He is your kinsman, he is your relative, and he has to get a very good girl, a very good daughter, a very beautiful daughter, like, like most of you. Like all of you, you are all beautiful. See you? Yeah, Everybody is beautiful. So when they went there, then they met, of course, Sarah, a very good girl, and then Tobias tells Raphael to ask Raguel to give him Sarah. And then Raguel hears these people and tells, young man, be quiet, go easy. Okay, see you in Araka. Then say, you must give me a daughter. Then say, she'll be yours. Don't just eat. And what does he say? I will eat nothing. I refuse to eat unless until you give me agreement that this will be my wife. That was love. There are those who say they cannot eat 
They cannot sleep. They just, they just eat and sleep. But Tobias, <laughs> they are going to tell you, Siwezi Kula. Siwezi Kulala. But eventually they go and eat and they sleep and snore. But then Tobias refused to eat until Raguel gave him Sarah. And he said, well, I'll give her to you. But let me, situa let, let me explain the true situation to you. This is my daughter here. I have given her to seven men. And on every night when these men come to marry her, they die. There seems to be a problem. They die. So it's preparing him that you're a dead meat. But the angel Raphael had told him, we have the gadgets. We have the medicine for all those, you know, tactics of the devil. And so he said, well, I am ready and willing. Then say, okay, she will be yours. Here is the writing. This is the agreement. I give her to you. Then meanwhile, she told, Raguel told the mother of uh, Sarah, Edna, to prepare a room for them to go and spend their night there. And as they were eating, somehow, as Edna was preparing a room for Sarah and Tobias, Raguel and his workers were preparing a, gra a grave. They were digging a grave outside the home. Why? Because they knew that this man, young man Tobias would not survive. And so if he died, then they would bury him secretly like those graves of Shakahola. They would <laughs> bury him there secretly. So they were prepared a good bedroom and a good grave, maybe a deep one, so that they could just forget about Tobias. Then, of course, they went there, and when they went to the bedroom after eating, what did Tobias do? Tobias, uh, Tobias lit some fire and gave out his uh, materials, which were the heart and liver of the fish, and it burned them there. And as it was being burnt, this, the, the smell of this choked this demon, Asmodeus. As it was always ch shocking people, so these, uh, these fish materials choked him. And as he went out, Raphael followed him up to Egypt. In, a, in the nick of time, the angel and the demon had a great flight up to Egypt. And then there, he strangled the demon, never again to come out. Come out. That is the history of salvation of Christians from Egypt to Canaan. And so, he, when he did that, they started sleeping. And before they slept, again, Toby, Tobias remembered the commandment of God. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your understanding. And he, he woke up, Sarah, my sister, my sister, let us pray. And he prayed so well. He prayed because he loved God. That's the only prayer in the Bible. The prayer before meal in the Bible. And a special meal. I was wondering when I read that book, that, re that, that reading. I was wondering who again in the Bible, who again in our world, who again in our times normally prays this grace before this eternal meal, this meal of marriage. It's a very special meal. That means... God, I mean, Tobias valued God so much, above everything. In everything he's doing, he valued God. And then after that, he also valued Sarah. So they prayed together. As they were praying, then they slept. And he was very clear in his prayers. Heavenly Father, you are the one who created Adam and Eve and told them to live and live forever. You said that it is not good for man to be alone. Here I am, before this woman. I take her, not because of lust. But I take her in sincerity of heart because of the rules of our customs and our ancestors. And so they went to bed. When they went to bed, Raguel sent one of the workers to go and peep, tiptoeing, and going to check. Uyo Tobiasi, you high ama amekufa. So when she went there and tiptoed and found them deep asleep, snoring, then she went back and told Raguel, they are alive. That was a good news. A news as good as the news of a dove 
which went to Noah and said, it is dry. Here is the olive branch. And so when that happened, they woke up and they made a big celebration. 14 days of wedding feast. The longest that, that, that I can ima imagine. Can you imagine that Sarah here, 14 days of just celebrating. And then Raguel gave these people half of his wealth. And they went and did everything. The whole thing is, in all things we do, let us trust God as Sarah trusted so much. By the way, Sarah at one point wanted to die, to commit suicide, to hang herself. But she prayed so hard. And the Lord heard her and sent this man, Tobias, who married her. And eventually, she had now her children. The maidens of her father had cast her at you. You are the one who killed your husbands. You want to kill us also. You go and die with them. May we never see a boy or a, a girl from your womb. But those who are just, you know, passing curses. Because Isaiah says, no weapon formed against me shall prevail. And so, in our trusting God, in everything we are doing, let us put God first and love God. And as we love God, let the love of God be proven through the love of neighbor. We are here as a family, and we continue the Holy Mass, that whatever we are doing, we are always constantly trusting in God. You can see Tobias, even though at first he trusted in the liver and the heart of a fish, but eventually he trusted in God more, and he prayed to God at a time when people thought he was dead, he was alive. He was alive in the power of God, the God of the living, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. Let us continue living and serving God and serving our neighbor even as we continue with the Holy Mass and intoning the songs of a factory. <laughs>